you go. Come on. Here. I know. So I had a couple, I had a good squirrel. <laughs> well, they're all good, I guess. But I had a good one. It was coming up to me. Uh, and I was like pick, practically taking the peanuts out of my hand. And I believe it was one that we have named Greedo. All our squirrels have <laughs> Star Wars names. And uh, yeah, and it was like eating the peanuts. And it was fascinated by my slippers because I'm wearing last year's Avon sparkly slippers out here uh, and it was like putting one hand one hand one paw on my slipper and then getting the peanuts with the other paw and it had a routine it was eating one and then it would go hide bury the other one and then go eat one and then bury the other one and it would bury it was burying them over in our little um where those two butterfly bushes are with the bird bird bath in it it would bury them over there and then it would come back here and it would go behind this bush Oh, okay, hold on. Here. Here. Come on. And Here. so it kept coming around. Here. And then I went in the house to get the camera. Here. And it it left. And I don't know where it's at. So I don't know who this one is. This isn't one of our regulars, I don't think. Do you? Oh, it's awful friendly. But it's a little timid. Like our... Some of them, we have three that we have named that we can recognize pretty well. Uh, Greedo, Solo, and Rebel. And I believe it was Greedo that was out here earlier with me just a little bit ago. And I don't know where it's at now, but uh, yeah. But in all fairness, Solo wasn't originally named after Star Wars. It was because he came up to us and he looked like he had something wrong with him. Right. And I yeah, lured, he did have something wrong with I him. I lured him off to the side to make sure he didn't have rabies or something and I saw that he was just, he was acting weird, but I thought his sugar had gone so low, like a human's, that he had, because he would, you could give him something and he would flop backwards and lay on his back and eat the piece of bread or whatever. And he had a nick out of his, uh, ear. Out of his ear, and he, sometimes he holds his head like he can't see uh, that good, but he's been back many times since then so i know he's just been attacked by something or maybe got hit by a car or something but and he's on the mend but he's doing a lot better but he'll come right up to, he came up and grabbed me by the ankle actually here i have to start feeding these squirrels peanut butter and jelly sandwiches yeah well, it's so funny, too, because Solo is, like, super, um, he's very recognizable. Like Keith said, he holds his head funny. He kind of tilts it to the side, and when he looks at things, like, he has a problem with his vision. Um, and he, sometimes he'll hold, like, whatever he's eating up in the air, and he'll hold it so high up that he loses, loses his balance and flops over. And then he'll just lay on his back and eat whatever he's eating until he's done. But he has no problem staying around us. You know, he'll just sit right with us while he eats. Whereas the other ones kind of get their their peanuts or their crackers or whatever. We have bread and then they go away. Uh, and then they come back when they're ready for another one. But I don't, this one is not Greedo. I don't think. Because Greedo was the one that was earlier today. Uh, a little while ago. I was out here by myself. And he was eating quite a few peanuts uh from me and then I went in the house to get the camera and now he's gone so I don't know what this one is and then the other one is Rebel and you can tell her because she has pointed ears with gray around the tips of them and a gray tail. she's got a gray tail she's a hybrid of a gray squirrel mixed with uh, um, brown. brown red whatever you want to call it <laughs> just gonna go back to the safe spot there but but he's eating them or she is eating them right now they're not burying any so it's their safe place yeah we haven't usually we sit out here and do this in the morning while we have our coffee but it's been so cool lately in the morning that we haven't done it so uh it's the afternoon now and uh 
We're just kind of hanging out. Is this a Vlogtober? Oh, yeah. Sorry, this is Vlogtober Day. Eight. Eight. Already? Yeah. It's not seven, it's eight. Vlogtober Day eight. I made a playlist for all the Vlogtobers. Uh, so, they'll all be easy to find if this is your first one. Very exciting uh, vlog of the squirrel eating peanuts. I think it's, I think it's exciting. Come here. Come on. Oh. <laughs> What's it? it must be hungry though because it's eating all those. Yeah. Them. And you know what's funny about this time of year is like a lot of times, and and if you're one of those people that is really particular or, well, I'm just going to say what I'm going to say. And if it irritates you or bugs you, so be it. But we, we give the squirrels bread a lot. And I know people are like, you should never give a squirrel bread. It's bad for them. The carbs and blah, blah, blah. You know, carbs are bad for me, but I eat them too. And I'm still breathing. So whatever. Well, they need to fatten up for winter and stuff. Yeah. But, uh, is he done? Mm. Are you done? You gonna bury it? But anyways, um, we'll give them bread a lot that's gone stale, you know, that we don't eat, and always oh, burying it, and I'm coming back for another one. Alright, okay, you're gonna take this one. Here, take this one. Here. Come on. Come on, it's okay. Where'd it go? A good spot to hide away. Oh, I lost him. Oh, it's right there. Oh, he's on the other side of the bird bath now, by the butterfly bush over there. That's where he is. He's gonna bury it. He's burying it somewhere. Yeah, it looks like it's time to mow again. I know. I was just looking at that. You can't even see the squirrel. But it's grass has slowed down an awful lot, so you can, shouldn't have to mold maybe once, twice more. There he is. It'll come back over, I know it will. Actually, I'll zoom back out. Try not to make anybody sick, moving slowly, 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 slowly. But, yeah, uh, what were we saying anyways? Oh, okay. So we feed them, uh bread you know like stale bread sometimes and and in the winter time and in the spring they well like late spring early summer kind of they're all about it <laughs> but in the fall like this when they're busy gathering nuts they turn their nose up at the bread it's coming underneath the swing i don't know where it's at Over here. there he comes where are you at hey come here he's hiding behind one of the Come here if you want another one. Come on. Come here. Come here. Here, come here. Come here. He's gonna go hide behind Bertram and the uh, mar marigolds. <laughs> so I'm leaving the clover, letting it grow at this point around the flowers because we've got some perennials in there and some rose bushes. And so the clover should help protect the roots and that when it starts frosting and that, that way they shouldn't have a problem coming up next year. Yeah. It's not just out of sloppiness or laziness. Then these maple trees started sprouting up in our flower bed, uh, as you can see. Yeah, There's two of them. And the so three. at this point, it's just going to leave them, right, though, in the flower bed and then uproot them, yeah, dig them up in the spring. They're in good ground right now and then... By spring, I'll try to figure out where I'm going to plant them. And then our fire pit obviously is filled with pizza boxes and twigs, so we got to do a bonfire pretty soon, buddy. Well, I think our friend is gone. Uh, it must be done. So that was it for Vlogtober Day 8. Very exciting, I know, filming squirrels. It is exciting. Filming squirrels and husbands. <laughs> All right, you guys. 
tomorrow um I'll film, but it probably won't be uploaded until Thursday because we're going to Cleveland tomorrow um, for that event, and it's a two-and-a-half-hour drive. The event starts at 730. I don't know how long it runs, and then we have to drive back home, so I'm not going to upload a video at midnight or anything, so I'll upload day 8, day 9. Today's day 8. Okay, so I'll upload day 9 on day 10, so there probably will not be any videos tomorrow, just so you know. Um, but I will be filming, just not uploading. So, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I will catch you later. Bye. Bye.